2019 Game Rate Awards here with Caitlin Tui, the cross country athlete of the year for girls. First off, it's your second time here. Last year, obviously, you won cross country and track and field. Uh, so you already know pretty much how this is. How special is it to be back for something as prestigious as the Gatorade National Athlete Award? It's so special. Last year, it kind of opened my eyes to the experience, and it was probably one of the best, you know, trips of my life. I loved it so much, and it definitely, you know, inspired me to, you know, work my butt off to come back here. The uh, this year, coming back this year for cross country, obviously, uh, you achieved a great deal last year. So it's always that. Especially nowadays, social media, that level of expectation, the chatter and so forth, you handled it really, really well. What was probably for you the biggest challenge in cross country this year? Uh, definitely when I got injured, I had to, you know, in the middle of championship season, right at the beginning, I uh, hurt my knee, so I had to take time off in the middle of the season. So it was really challenging mentally coming back, knowing that I missed you know, really important workouts that, you know, my teammates and my competitors uh, were getting in. So it was definitely a bummer then, but I definitely had to, you know, just keep my composure and, you know, get back into it. After the achievements from last year, what you achieved on the course and for something like Gatorade, uh, did you sense any sort of uh, more attention and maybe any more pressure coming into this past year? Um, well, I definitely gained, like, you know, a lot of followers on my Instagram and everything, but I definitely don't, like, look at any kind of, you know, like, website or anything that, you know, people would be criticizing me on, because I know, like, people who are criticizing me are people, you know, who haven't put in the hours of work that I put in, so I know, like, what I'm doing is the right thing for me and everything, so I wouldn't say there's any pressure unless it's pressure I'm putting on myself to, you know, achieve what I have, you know, goals-wise personally. And how do you find that balance? How do you succeed there where you obviously need to put a lot on yourself to achieve the level you do, but at the same time keep that balance where it isn't overwhelming. Yeah, it's a little difficult at times. I definitely struggled you know, the past year balancing like my stress with running and school and you know, colleges and everything and the whole process. So uh, last year was difficult and I'm glad, you know, junior year is always the hardest year. Everyone says it's over, but it does get a little overwhelming at times and that's when you just kind of take a step back and you know, kind of take a deep breath and refocus. How about the track and field season? I know there were some situations where you may have not competed as much as you maybe have wanted to. How did it go for you in hindsight, your, your junior year of track and field? Yeah, I was a little, you know, I don't know if I would say disappointed, but um, I feel like my track and field season was kind of compromised by you know, school and family, which is kind of more important to me. So I was definitely focusing on my academics more because spring seasons when AP tests are and SAT tests are. So uh, I didn't get, the, I don't know, I got training in, but I wasn't, you know, the type of training I wanted to get in. Just, you know, after practice, I was hitting books instead of going to the gym and doing you know extra stuff. So it kind of messed with me like mentally. I feel like a little, and I was kind of just needed a break. And I was you know kind of excited to just like step back and get ready for senior year, which I knew would be you know a little easier on me just because I have a lighter course load and everything. I know going to cross country, your coach had an idea last year to try and mix things up a little bit to alleviate some of the pressure. Uh, and track and field, I'm sure it was a different a different uh, goal as well. Was there anything that you were forced to change during the course of your track and field season as a result of how things were playing out? Did you have to adjust on the fly at all with your approach or your goals or what have you? Um, maybe a little just because, um, you know, I had a couple of like, minor injuries and, and uh, so I kind of just had to adjust my training to like how I was feeling. You know, I was feeling kind of like fatigued all the time just from the stress of school and kind of lack of sleep, staying up studying and everything. So I kind of had to you know, switch my training, which kind of messed everything up, I guess you can say. Right. A little, but, you know, it is what it is, and it, it kind of just motivates me for uh, the next year. You mentioned some of the unique challenges your junior year, including obviously the academic load. Mm -hmm. uh, now going into your senior year, what's changed and how are you approaching your senior year? Um, my schedule definitely changed a little. I'm not going to have a full, you know, first period, day period class load. I'm going to have a couple periods off during the day where I can kind of, you know, get my homework done, you know, before practice so I can, you know, have my own time to relax or go to the gym or whatever I want after practice. As far as your approach in your senior year in terms of obviously cross country and track, every now and then individuals will try and elect to go ahead and do something in between where they'll try and, you know, just try to qualify for a world team in cross or possibly something in the summertime as far as junior nationals or what have you in track and field afterward. 
what's your approach this year? Have you thought about if you're going to take on some of those challenges postseason after an NXN or a Foot Locker or something like that? Anything after those kind of events? Even yeah, I haven't years? really thought about it much. I've never done any of like the world teams or anything, like junior nationals or anything. Right. I've never done any of those things. It seems fun, but I kind of just stayed to my normal, uh, you know, high school like routine. Uh, but I ran one pro race, so I definitely want to add, you know, the challenge of more professional races my senior year, just because uh, my goal is to qualify for the trials in 2020. So I need to get used to racing uh, against people who are a lot better than me. And which event were you gunning for in the trials? And I think the 5,000. Maybe if I can pull a fast 1,500 out of nowhere. But I think the 5,000 is definitely my best bet. Right, okay, definitely. And as far as cross country, how are you approaching the season this year? You mentioned there's going to be a little bit less demand on you. Um, starting racing a little bit earlier, starting racing a little bit later. So what's your approach going to be, if anything, different uh, or maybe similar to the past? Just be like the same training, and, like leading up to when practice actually starts, uh, or, like end of August. But uh, what we're changing this year is kind of everything's kind of shifted like a couple weeks later. Just we kind of noticed over the last few years, I've been peaking a little earlier than I wanted. You know, you want to peak towards the end of your season, where the big races are. But I've kind of been peaking like towards the middle of my season, so just pushing everything back a couple weeks. So I'm ready to go. When the big races come. Mid-season races, are you pretty good, would you say, at basically holding yourself back to try and save yourself for the season? Or are you one that every time out you kind of find yourself pushing maybe a bit more than you wanted to? Yeah, I definitely hold back. My coach gives me like five or six races where he's like, you get to pick which ones you want to go all out and the other ones are just, you know, doing a workout or just getting points for the team and everything. So I'm definitely try not to over-race myself because at the end of the season I'll just be too blown down to Kaylin, with all the years success you've had so far, was there is there something that you may have learned about yourself this year? Uh, definitely just getting to know myself better as a like you know as a runner and everything, um, knowing my body when it needs a break and everything. Uh, you know, I had my problems with my knee the whole year, kind of, but definitely learned how to you know take a step back and knowing that you know, sometimes less is more because I definitely overworked myself a couple times, which you know left me too tired, you know, to you know race all out when I needed to. Or, you know, kind of left me with a minor injury, which you know caused a setback and everything. So just knowing my body and knowing when I need rest. Obviously, senior year, one of the big questions people will be asking you is as far as college situation. Is that something that uh, you're looking forward to, making a decision, taking some trips? Yeah. Or is it something that's kind of a bit of a burden because you can have people asking you all the time, you know, what are you looking at? Uh, the whole college process kind of got all those people out there kind of pushed back, left on the bookshelf this whole year because I was sort of like busy with school and running and uh, now I'm ready to, you know, start looking at a bunch of schools and I'm excited. I have a bunch of visits set up, so just seeing where I feel, you know, I fit in best and hopefully next winter I'll have my decisions. Which visits do you have lined up currently? What? Which visits do you currently have lined up? I have official visits at Villanova, Providence, and Houston State, and then I'm hoping to, you know, set two more and then doing a couple unofficial visits. So, in total, I'll probably be looking at, like, eight or nine schools. You feel pretty confident as to how that'll fit into your actual competition schedule and training wise? Are you plan mapped out pretty much? Yeah, definitely uh, kind of squeeze them in between important meets. And I'm, I have most of my visits before like the big meets start, so I'll be uh, you know, getting my workouts in around my visits and everything. Have you already focused in on what type of major you might be looking for at the next level? Uh, I haven't picked like, you know, like one major. I kind of have a couple in mind. Uh, I like math, science, computer science, so something in that field. What are you looking away from this weekend? From this week, I should say. What gave you the second time around? Just making new friends. Uh, I definitely like talk to some of the athletes, but we still have more time, so I'll get to know them and make new friends and just connections with everyone. All right, Caitlin Toon from New York, our cross country athlete of the year, a three time winner now, twice in cross country and once in track and field. Congratulations.